In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find your teacher's email on Google Classroom. This is a simple yet essential guide for students who wish to contact their teachers directly for class-related inquiries, assignment clarifications, or any other academic purpose. Regardless of your familiarity with Google Classroom, this step-by-step -step tutorial will ensure you can retrieve your teacher's email address without any trouble. Let's dive in. Firstly, let's start with the basics. Open your preferred web browser and head over to google.com. This is where our journey begins. Google's homepage is the gateway to all its services, including the one we're interested in today, which is Google Classroom. Once you're on google.com, comma, look at the top right corner of the page. You'll see a sign in button. Click on it. This action will direct you to the Google login page, a standard procedure to access all of Google's integrated services, ensuring that your experience is personalized and secure. Now it's time to choose your Google account. If you're logged into more than one account, ensure you select the one that's associated with your school or institution. This is important because your Google Classroom access is typically tied to your educational institution's assigned Google account. After selecting your account, you'll be prompted to type in your password. Go ahead and enter your password carefully. Remember, passwords are case sensitive, so be sure to enter it exactly as you set it up, including any upper or lower case letters. Once you've entered your password, click on Next. This action confirms your credentials and takes you to your Google account's homepage. From here, you're just a couple of steps away from accessing Google Classroom. Now look for the Google Apps menu, which is represented by a grid of nine dots. It's located at the top right corner near your profile icon. Click on this grid to open up the menu of all the Google Apps available to you. In the list of apps that appears, find and click on Google Classroom. This app might be located directly in the menu or under the More section, depending on how frequently you use it or the customizations you've made to your app list. Selecting Google Classroom will take you directly to the Classroom dashboard. However, if we're focused on finding your teacher's email, we'll proceed with an alternate route commonly used by educators to invite students to their class, which is through an invitation email. To find this invitation email, you'll need to access your Gmail. The easiest way to do this is by going directly to mail.google.com, comma, or you can click on the Gmail app from the Google Apps menu if you're still on your Google account's main page. Once in Gmail, search for your classroom invitation email. This email is key as it often contains not just the invitation link, but also your teacher's contact information. If you received the invitation, it would likely be in your inbox. However, if you can't find it, try checking other tabs like updates or promotions or even your spam folder just in case. Upon locating the invitation email, click to open it. Now visually scan the contents of the email. Your teacher's email address is typically listed either at the top or bottom of the invitation. It's often in a format that's clickable and directly opens a new email window when clicked. However, what we want to do here is to simply copy the email address. To copy your teacher's email address, you might need to hover over the link and right click on it, then select copy email address, or you could highlight the email address text and then right click to copy. This process may vary slightly depending on your computer's operating system and the browser you're using. And there you have it. You've successfully located and copied your teacher's email address from Google Classroom. Now you can easily reach out to them for any classroom related queries directly through email. Remember, effective communication is key to a successful learning experience. So don't hesitate to use this tip to stay in touch with your educators. Thank you for following along in this tutorial. I hope you found these steps easy to follow and that this guide helps you in your academic pursuits. Stay tuned for more helpful tutorials.